Welcome to the second first episode of What Are You Streaming today. Uh, we're talking about Apple TV um, Ted Lasso. Today we have three Ted Lasso members. Me, the first Ted, um, and I don't know if you're the second. I'm probably the, the best Ted. <laughs> I am Ted Jr. as of the uh, multimedia group chat last night when I sent a picture of me dying my mustache. Okay, I'll go with why we chose to do this show. We're all big fans. All seen the show, yeah. right? The whole thing, everything, whole thing. Yeah. So big fans of the show. Um, but I guess it was the start of wrestling season. Lucas um, had a mustache for a period of time, and I thought it looked like he was Ted Lasso, and so I've started calling him Ted. We've started calling him Ted here in in multimedia, and so that kind of has springboarded, springboard us, springboarded us, whatever, into wanting to talk about the show. And so we're just going to go through our, our favorite parts of the show, reasons why you probably need to watch the show. Um, and yeah. So what do you guys want to start with? Uh, do we want to start with favorite moment from the show? Yeah. All right. Favorite um, moment. I think for me, the, my favorite moment for sure was the, uh, the dartboard scene. Yeah, what he plays against Rupert. That was such a great That scene. was going to be my favorite moment. <laughs> it's just that good of a scene. That perfect it's scene, yeah. Absolutely perfect. And it starts off so... Oh, shoot. I forgot. I was left-handed. He throws a bowl down at Rupert. Without so trying to give up too many spoilers, yeah. um, that part, that was probably my favorite scene, too, because it's, a, it's such a, like, a roundabout, like, he finishes it with a quote from Walt Whitman, uh, uh, be curious, not judgmental, and it kind of just fits in. It's one of those like happy moments, which is why I like the show because it's not like I feel like every show nowadays is like super downers all the time. Like you're like, come on, give me something to cheer for. But and he has someone to cheer for, so that would be my favorite moment. But I'm gonna I'll change it just so we don't have the same one. Um, I also was a big fan of uh, getting rid of the curse um, in the uh, the training room. Uh, and they all came in and threw something into the fire, and it was the first time that you saw Jamie uh, be vulnerable and, like, be a part of the team. And it, it's crazy. His character changed so much in all the seasons. It was four seasons, right, or three? Three. Four? Three. three seasons. Yeah. Um, but, like, yeah, he changed so much throughout from season one to season three, how much you didn't like him to how much you could really like him, and I thought that was the first moment, like, for his character to be likable. So, And uh, just when uh, Na 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 came out of the yeah. – uh, what's his name? Danny Rojas came out uh, all, 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 all jacked up and, like, his knee was all better. I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, my favorite moment is also with Jamie Tart is when they played against Manchester City and they uh, Manchester City won with a goal from Jamie Tart and he went to the bus and he opened a gift and it was, like, the oh, green soldier. Yeah. yeah. I like moment. that. That was a very good I mean, for me, this, like, all the whole... TV show is a good moment. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I also like the last, like, when he's talking to Rebecca in the stadium. Hey, that's a very like good moment. Very yeah. 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 yeah that I prefer that talking that the one that in the in the airport. Yeah. Yeah. Like, way better. Uh, that's true. I, that, I didn't really think about that one. I will admit, I did cry a few times during the show. Choked up for sure. Oh, yeah. Sh- tears were shed. It's good. Um, yeah, it gets into some deep stuff. Um, and going back to that, that moment um, after Jamie scored, or didn't score, but was part of yeah. the winning goal or whatever, and how he was getting dreamed by his dad because he didn't shoot it and all everything like that he's worked for and everything that him and Ted kind of worked for or whatever came crashing down. And it was cool to see, like, yeah. it was like a moment from Ted Lasso, like, hey, still, you know, keep battling, still, still part of the family or whatever. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, season. So three seasons. I think all my, most of my favorite moments are from season one because it was just like, it was a, like a show that was unlike any other, I feel like. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cause it just kind of came out of nowhere. But I think if you watch it back again, all three of them, cause I've watched it twice. Season two kind of got drug a little bit cause it wasn't, cause it was kind of prolonged. Um, but I think 
I don't think people appreciate uh, Sam's story as much, and I don't think that's why it kind of got drugged, I don't know, by critics or people that didn't like it as much. Um, but f- but I thought, you know, season one came out, it was awesome, and season three, they closed it in such a good fashion. Like, uh, you yeah, didn't like the ending? I liked the ending, and I think it was, like, too fast. Like, they were trying to, like, end all, like everything very fast. And But, I like, the know. fact that they weren't going to come back and make another season, like, they wanted to just make it short, and, like, this was the end of it. I thought how they ended it, either way, in a show like that where people want more and more and more and more, however you end it, it's going to be horrible. And I just kind of liked how everybody's storyline ended up going at the end. I thought it was all the right things um, because they really could have ruined it. Um, But, yeah, I could see where you're coming from. Like, everything kind of got super fast and didn't really, (laughs) like, make it, like, four more episodes and really, like, prolong how you end the story. No, but I do like season three, like, a lot. I that's like the only season I cried, yeah. because like this show is like was very special to me because it, I think it's the last show I watched like with my whole family, oh, yeah. because like my sister is like in that age and I'm like getting older and like with like exams and tests all that I not like don't spend t- time with my parents yeah. and that was like the only part when I like spent time with my whole family. It was kind of sad when it was over. That's deep. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's it's very deep. It's very deep. But it was like easy to connect to. Like yeah. yeah, it was super relatable. Yeah, like it was just like I I'm not I wasn't like a big soccer fan, and I think when it came out, I like soccer. I like just, but I'm like a World Cup guy, like I, Premier League, all that stuff. Like eh, that stuff goes over my head, and it wasn't about soccer, but it made you made people I like I think it helps it helped soccer like yeah. it, it, it like it made people want to be interested in soccer more I feel like what I thought was really cool is that like if you weren't a fan of soccer and you didn't know anything about the sport like I did I don't I didn't know anything I was like learning with Ted mm-hmm. as he was coaching that was his what team. was that, yeah, was, that, was, that was, was what was so cute about it like yeah. it, we yeah. used the word cute because it really did work that way like mm-hmm. I mean Lucas probably knows like we don't know anything about soccer like yeah. we're all American football and that's it and and so like that connection that he was coaching American football and went over to coach soccer and was like season three, what on a, what it sounds stupid, but the whole, like he finally understood what offsides yeah. was by the yeah. end of it. Like that part was just kind of like, it made you laugh like a, like a seven year old, you yeah, know, it made you giggle yeah. and like it should, it was about offsides in soccer. It shouldn't have made you giggle. Yeah, and it's very funny because like, um, so you remember when he was at like that American bar in, Oh, yeah. In, yeah, in, oh, yeah. Was that in Paris? Or no, that was in Deutsch. Yeah, in Amsterdam. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that, that actually, like, happened with a very good player that was Johan Crave. Oh, yeah. That was from there. And, like, yeah. So, I think he told to Coach Bear, yeah. something like that. And, uh, and he said, like, oh, really? That's very good. It was already invented. So, yeah, yeah like, that yeah, was that very was funny. That was pretty funny. But, yeah, I'm a, like, very soccer fan. I watch, like, a lot of games. And I didn't care, like, they didn't. Because, like, the first season, they didn't, like, really care about soccer. I think yeah. the second season yeah. is, like, the more, like, where they put, like, more games, but I didn't care. It was, like, very funny to see him coach. Yeah. But, yeah. But so even, like, second and third season, like, it, it was kind I like that they s- made that switch into, like, following the season, like, following the season, have this game, the changes, like, like in the standings, when they had a big winning streak, um, I thought that was kind of cool. Like, that connection of, like, hey, we're going to make it more about soccer in the end because, like, he made it more about soccer. And it was, like, he cared about it a little bit more. I mean, it started with him trying to get away from his fam- family problems or what Spoilers. I shouldn't say all these things. Another great moment. This is kind of a spoiler, but not really. But when Jamie does the, the fake out, mm-hmm. where he does the, give me the ball, mm-hmm. I want the ball. That was <laughs> Yeah, she's a lot of TikToks about that. That was a great That was pretty good, yeah. Okay, so reasons to watch. Obviously, these moments are great. It's a wholesome show. Uh, Makes you laugh, makes you cry. Um, I think uh, one of my many reasons to watch it is all of the quotes, one-liners, stuff that's thrown out. I mean, like, the very first episode, you have Coach Beard and, and Ted being, I mean, in the plane. Like, hey, if we see each other in our dreams, let's just mess with each other, act like we don't know who each other are. You know, like, just stupid stuff like that that I think is, I don't know, it's silly, but, like, it, it just makes you kind of giggle. Um, he's got a ton of quotes, a ton of one-liners that get used, um, and just, like, how relatable they are just because of how simple they are, I feel like it's kind of, I don't know, I don't know, 
connecting. I don't know, it makes you connect with it a little bit. I think that's a reason to watch, just with yeah. everything you get out of it, just from that. And under underrated character, sorry, you guys go, reasons to watch. Um, it's very much like The Office. Like, see, it, mm. it feels like The Office, but a little bit more serious. Like, it just, with the quips and the quotes and all that, it just feels like it's a fun watch, and you can still get invested in the characters and the story. Yeah. I really like that. Yeah. Yeah. Reason to watch? Um, I don't know. I think, like, Ted could be, like, one of us. Mm-hmm. Like, he don't understand anything about soccer, and he goes there. I like the reason why he goes there, like, because um, I don't know if, I, like, I don't know if I want to tell ah. this. Well, well yeah. So, um, yeah, Rebecca, like, it's, like, the president of the, cl- of the soccer team. Like, he want to destroy the team because one thing happened with um, her husband. So he bring um, Ted, that is an f- uh, American football coach. Knows nothing. Nothing. And after f- first season, um, he's, like, very nice guy, and he wants to stay at the soccer team because, like, everyone loves him. Besides, he don't know anything about soccer. So, I don't know. I feel like Ted could be, a, a, like, any one of us. So, yeah. I don't know. You empathize very good person. with him. Yeah, like, he's so relatable that, like, just his attitude and his, and his the way that he could relate to everybody because he was just normal and he had a good attitude about everything, yeah. um, which a, a hidden part of the show ends up being, like, you know, he's got so much el- other things going on that you don't know about. It's kind of – kind of – kind of a par- big part of the show, actually. But I just think he's so relatable. That's why it's like, oh, everybody everybody can connect with him on the show, and then it makes you feel like you're part of it watching it. Um, most underrated character? I'm going to go Coach Beard. Yeah. Um, I love that guy. I think I think um, we talked about favorite moments. I think my full, complete episode, my favorite, like, from start to finish episode is the Coach Beard episode really? when he goes off on his own. I didn't like that the one. Pants. I just – yeah, oh man, it was I so love that. So weird. It was yeah, so it was weird, so and it was like, place. and it was, it was like they're like, hey, somebody else wrote this episode. Let's just insert it on episode eight, you know, or whatever it was. But it like from start to finish, I loved that episode because it got. To, he was so like somber and didn't have like a character, and they're like, hey, by the way, this guy's weird, and yeah. here's all of the things that are weird, and that song that came out of it that was in the club. Like I downloaded that right away. Like it was. I love that episode, but I think it's because it's he was such an underrated character. He is very underrated. Um, I think another underrated character is Sam, which he did get most of the focus in like season two. He got a lot of it, but still, people just I feel like a lot of people didn't like his story, mm-hmm. which sucks because it was a really good story. Yeah. I yeah. really enjoyed it, but yeah, I think he's pretty underrated. Yeah, I don't want to say again, Coach Bird, but I'll say the I remember his name from. Like the um, guy who stayed with the team in se- third season from from uh, the sunshine, um, he's like um, the one who write the book. Oh, um, I don't remember his uh, name. Trent, with the Trent, Trent, yeah, Krim, independent, yeah, Trent Krim, the independent, the, the independent. Krim, I, independent. I, that was I, a good character. Yeah, he like at the end good. of these of the season three, I love that guy. Yeah, he's he was very funny. Didn't like him like right yeah. away. Like they made him so like not likable, and then he was ended up being like. Um, which, how about, how about Nate the Great? Like, I liked yeah. his story a little bit, too. I didn't like the end. Like, the en- yeah. also, like, his end was too fast. I think, like, he yeah. changed from, like, only from one talk. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I did, I think that was too fast. Like, he changed very fast. He changed very fast. Yeah. I mean, hair and everything. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I really like, I really enjoy Nate in, in the first season. But yeah. they did. They made him, like, from, like, where, where some of these guys, like, Jamie... And Trent, like, they, they changed their character so much in three seasons, which is hard to do. With Nate, they went, like, over the cliff. Like, he was lost for a fifth. Like, got his chance, and then, boom, he knows everything. He's evil. He's vindictive. And then he was, like, kind of back to his old. Like, it was very harsh how they changed him up. I think they did really good building him up to into that villain. Yeah. But then once they brought him back, that's when he went yeah. super quick. Because I feel like he started, like, you can tell after, you know, the end of season one that he's just looking at Ted that's just, like, stealing all my ideas and, you know. It's crazy, though. Ruining my he, chances. He really thought Ted was a was yeah. evil. Yeah, yeah. And that's, <laughs> it's just, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and when you said, like, the first episode when 
Ted go to the field and like he was painting the field. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like he he was no one and like thanks to Ted, like he's starting to be with the team. Yes. Yeah, that was so funny to watch. Yeah, that was good. Uh, I can't believe there's so many other characters that we didn't even mention. Roy Kent, Roy Kent, I and mean, Jay- like Roy Kent and Jamie Tart, they were so funny in season three. So funny and and perfect. Like everything yeah. they did was just like yeah. perfect, and it made you laugh, and it made you like, oh, look at this. Big brother, little brother, yeah. dad, son, like, yeah. scenario, you know? It was kind of cool. Their uh, their relationship from season one to season three yeah. was the best change-up of the entire show. Because they go from absolutely hating each other, like, want don't even want to see each other at all, and they're on the same team, and then they're just best friends <laughs> by the end of it. But even with that, like, there's still those moments of, yeah. like, like, oh, gosh, I hate you, you know? But th- there's so much love behind the heat that it was kind of co- cool, but... Um, anything else? I mean, you got to watch it. It's, I mean, I know it's not a lot of people have Apple TV plus, which is what it's on. Um, coach Williamson is a big soccer fan. She loves soccer. And so I told her, get the seven day free trial, binge it over Christmas break. Now you got spring break coming up, like binge it over spring break. You can watch all three seasons over a weekend. It's worth it. You can. It's worth it. Yeah. I've watched it twice. Probably do it again in the summer. Very quotable, very funny, really heartfelt in some scenes, especially with, I won't spoil it that much, <laughs> but, but yeah, um, really great show, definitely recommend it. Yeah, just binge it over a weekend, totally worth it. Same, kind of same, yeah. Samesies. All right, that was What Are You Streaming? Um, you heard Ted say, <laughs> that's hard now. <laughs> you heard Lucas say that we did, this was our second first episode. We recorded one over Criminal Minds. I uh, forgot to turn on the sound. So we might do another one over Criminal Minds if you're a big Criminal Minds fan. Um, so stay tuned to that. Thanks for watching.